Hey Bear Squad, what is up? Today we are going to service the soda machine first. And uh, it is empty. Guys, it's so empty. I've never, like, I've never seen a machine get this empty from, like, max full. You guys saw me service it last week. It was incredibly full. And these guys are blowing through product. It's awesome. It's like the best thing ever. So we've got our overflow bin. We're just using up everything that's in the overflow bin first. And then we'll start getting into the actual cases of product. I can get a soda machine done way, way faster than I can get a, uh, I can get a snack machine done. It's really interesting to me. Although there's a lot more product you have to put in a snack machine than there is a soda machine. A, not, a lot more different kinds of product. We fixed the crack thing this time. Wore the PJs underneath. <laughs> All right, so we're over filling up the ginger ale. That's what that is. That's definitely ginger ale. No, it's not, it's root beer. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. And we got the old sun-kissed roux. Do I use this whole thing? No, I think I'm short like two at the end of it. There, now we can see what we're doing. Good job. I realized that after I was filling, I was like, wait a second, I'm not sure if these guys can actually see what's going on here or not. Can't quite fit that last one in. It's just the one, two, and it's like, uh, oh wait, no, I did do something. It didn't work though. One can. <laughs> one can. That one lonely can. They went through an entire column of Coke. I was really surprised. So um, I actually wound up having to run back out to the van and getting another thing of coke. I don't know if you guys can see it yet or not, or if you're going to be able to see it, but I got a new cart. I'm very excited about it. It's got big pneumatic wheels. You can see the pneumatic wheels, kinda. But uh, the cart was 80 bucks. It's a Costco cart. It's really decent. It works out pretty good. So we got the Minute Maid lemonade going in there. They guys love that lemonade. They go through quite a bit of it. And Oh, that was me giving her... That's the lady that I was trying to give the monster the last time, and I couldn't find her. Couldn't figure out where she had gone off to. Alright, more lemonade. Having a conversation? It happens, you know. You gotta talk to people every now and again. I was explaining to her that I couldn't figure out where she was last time. I knew she was looking for one, for a monster. There we go. That one's full up. And I think this is the last one I actually wind up putting in there. I think I left it be after that. I was thinking about getting more and putting another 12 pack in there, but I never wound up doing it because it was only short, like, maybe six cans got the old dr. pepper dr. pepper's got two columns two deep on each column so that's 104 104 cans yep 104 cans you can fit in there hey guys do you do you have snow on the ground yet I want to know who has snow on the ground and who doesn't comments below curious I want to know. All right. Got the old second case of Dr. Pepper. I think we only wound up going through two cases of Dr. Pepper, actually. Still, that's pretty darn good. The, uh, the Mountain Dew is empty. Totally empty. We used up every case of Mountain Dew we had in the van to fill the Mountain Dew. <laughs> I usually keep like a, a general stock of four cases of Mountain Dew in the van. And uh, we used every single case. Ironically, uh, next week we're going to be visiting a bunch of locations. We're going to be visiting uh, three locations next week. And one of those locations is going to use up like eight cases of Mountain Dew. <laughs> they just go through enormous amounts of Mountain Dew over there, which is great. We're also going to be changing some product out on that one kind of excited to make that run it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be a long video we have a lot a lot of product to put in there I'm probably gonna do like I'm 
probably not gonna do video like this. I'm probably gonna do like before and after clips and then collection clips, stuff like that. Kind of make it a little more vloggish than I have in the past. A little more, a uh, little more editing involved. I had fun with, uh, I had fun with the Amazon video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that yet, I'll try to remember to put a link thingy up in the right hand corner. I'm not sure if I'll remember or not. I have a really hard time remembering that. Maybe if I write it down, put link thingy in corner. Probably at four. There, I wrote it down. Hey, I dropped the camera. <laughs> new angle, guys. That's the new angle. Like, that actually wasn't a horrible angle. I probably could get away with that every now and again. I might do that. What do you guys think? Change it up a little bit. Put the camera down. Oh man, the crack is still there. What the heck? I need to tuck my shirt in or something. Get a shirt that I can tuck in. One of the things that stinks about being fat. You need to get like butt muscles. That way you can tighten your belt above the butt muscles. <laughs> All right, so breaking these boxes down is kind of important. Um, you wanna make sure you keep your trash to a minimum. I actually just found out that uh, my local place does not charge for recycling. A lot of places up here still charge for recycling. I know, I've heard a lot of people talk about how they get money back for recycling. Well, our places charge. I think in Vermont you can get money back for cans if you collect your cans. It's not a lot though. I know New Hampshire you really can't. Look at that sucker, nice and full. I actually wound up coming back to it and filling it up some more. But we are using product from Amazon today. I'm really, really excited about it very excited about it um, I wound up pulling a whole bunch of product those lays the yellow bags they really don't sell if, if I go a week and I haven't sold a single one of them it's time to change it out so I'm just kind of tossing the stuff that I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use in a bin at the bottom there this is a little milk crate and now we're going to open up we're going to open up the regular bag or the bold bag that's the regular one we're putting the barbecue chips in there I actually go through barbecue chips pretty good we got the blue chips blue chips baby blue chips was I able to fill that there's no way I was able to fill that we've got uh, salt and vinegar I did try to do some color meshing. I'm not sure what you'd call it. I put purple in between. It probably would have been better if I took the blue from the other side, put it on there, and put, I don't know. I tried to put a color that was a little bit different than the red. <laughs> purple was the most different color I could get. I should really take the blue Doritos and put them down there. That'd probably be the best bet. You can see, it, it's pretty different. It's different. These are the uh, spicy Doritos. I wonder how those are doing. I kind of want to check up on them now. I'm going to do that. While we're watching this, I'm going to go ahead and check up on those suckers. Because I'm curious. I want to see how they're doing. Those are the... Uh, I really shouldn't have put those two together, but... It's all good. I'm not too terribly worried about it. So, on that shelf, we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are actually doing really well. I've sold um, four of them. Sold four bags in a couple of days here. So those purple ones are doing really good. What about the shelf we're on? We got we got Fritos. One, two, three, four, five. The Chili Fritos haven't sold any. Actually, the only ones that have sold any is the, uh, whatever's in that column. I can't, 
can't really tell what's in front there. Is that Doritos? Maybe it's red Doritos or something? I can't really tell. The one next to it hasn't sold. The one next to that. Oh! We did get some, uh... Oh no, we just, we just got sales on the regular Cheez-Its. Not Cheez-Its, uh... I can't think of what they're called. Can't think of it, guys. Cheetos. That's what they're called. Cheetos. I like the fire Cheetos, personally. I like spicy stuff. I'm really curious how they're gonna do. It does make things a little bit better because it's not like just... You get 16 fire and 16 regular Cheetos now instead of flipping 32 Cheetos. <laughs> So you've got a little bit more of a variety you can mess things up with. Got the old smart food. Smart food never fails. People eat the crap out of that smart food. It's great. So, um, this is kind of annoying. Uh, I actually didn't bring anything with me because of that. What's happening is uh, people are bumping the machine and they're knocking out the bottom product. And I'm not sure how to handle it. Someone actually put a coat hanger in the machine <laughs> and tried to do that. That's the first time that that's ever happened to me. Uh, flipping coat hanger. I don't know. People are idiots, I guess. See, what I'm worried about though, like I don't care if they steal a dollar here and there, that's, that's fine. The big problem is if the owner finds out that they're doing this, the owner will boot the machines, and that means I get fired, not the person who did it. So, if that ever comes a thing, I'm going to ask him if I can put a security system in there so we can fire the person doing it instead of firing me. That and I'm also going to get some little, those little cup things that you can put under the machines, because when they bump the machine, they're scratching the heck out of the floor. shelves almost completely full guys that cart and that bin are great if I can find them on Amazon I'll put links in the description I'm I'm loving that cart it's amazing and the using the big bins I'll use the big bins from now on I'll actually try to look that up right now see if I can put it in the description for you guys the good old Amazon so I don't know about you guys but I am like falling in love with Amazon pretty hardcore. I'm really loving the delivery. That's like uh, yesterday I made my second Amazon order and it's going to be here today. Like <laughs> according to that thing, it's going to be today. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. All right, let's get into this Amazon. Oh, that's my affiliate thing. I don't need that. I don't need that at all. I actually need... Oh wow, my affiliate sales have gone through the roof. That's awesome. But that's not what I want. I want regular Amazon. Amazon. Just, just Amazon. Check out. That's where it, that works. Okay. What was I looking for? I've totally forgotten now what I was going on Amazon to look for. Oh yeah, that cart. Costco cart. Costco cart. See if I can find it now. Man, I should have bought this thing on Amazon. It's so much less expensive. Although I don't think that's the same one. Nope, that's, I don't think that's the same one. I'll try to find it while we're doing this. So we've got all the, uh, you can see we probably went, we went through two cases. Yeah, a little more than two cases. We went through three cases of Reese's. Those Reese's, they sell so well. That's an awesome backup plan. Hey, guys, what's going on with Hershey Almond? I couldn't find them anywhere today. I couldn't find them in Sam's Club. Couldn't find them on Amazon. Well, I found them on Amazon, but they wanted way too much money. Way too much money for them. And I was kind of like, eh, not really into that. But it's an 800 pound cart. 
800 pounds. My keyboard's not working. It's driving me nuts. Don't ever get wireless keyboards. They're the worst. If for some reason the battery is like not in there just right or see the light on the keyboard is supposed to be green when the battery is fine and it's green right now but it just won't reach lance crackers i love those things my margins are so great with those and people buy the crap out of them oh there we go keyboard started working right in the middle of me talking <laughs> Costco. It's a Costco cart. And it's great. It's amazing. There it is. I found it. Oh man, it's it's more expensive on it's a little more expensive on Amazon. I'll give you the link anyway. But it's uh I want $93 on Amazon. I am. That's awesome. Oh, I did need the affiliate thing, didn't I? Ha! Silly me. So we've got the Milky Ways going in there, and the Crunch Bars were taking up the spot for the uh, peanut M&Ms. Now that we have peanut M&Ms back, we can uh, go right ahead and put those back in their spot, which is good. I think I'm going to keep Crunch Bars in my uh, thing, though. My inventory. I think they're a good item to have. I should probably put those into, I don't have them in, uh, whatchamacallit yet. I can't think of what it's called. Guys, I can't think at all today. I don't have them in Nyax yet, the Nyax software. 800 pound cart. Should probably write Costco. But yeah, this thing does uh, does 800 pounds as a dolly and then 1,000 pounds as a cart. It's pretty epic. I'm like thoroughly impressed with it. It rolls over like everything too. That was my thing. Is uh, we're in the season now where it's gotta it's gotta be able to roll over all the salt that we put on the road, and uh, it rolls over it really well. And you can cart it from the back side where the actual handle is. You can. You can push that side so you can kind of see if stuff's going to fall over. Which it hasn't yet. I've been really fortunate with that. I've had, uh, had really good luck with that. Oh, got my stupid Grammarly thing popping up there. I'm trying to put this link in the description for you guys. See, if I don't do it right now, I'm going to totally forget to do it. Just like that card thing that I'm glad I wrote down because I had forgotten about that until we spoke about it. <clears throat> so I'm throwing some overflow in there. I didn't have any mounds. So I'm throwing some stuff in there that I just need to get rid of, honestly. I know these guys will go through it, so. That works out. And now uh, we're gonna run up on, we're gonna be running up on the end of this here soon. I think that's just about it. Is it? Yep. That's the last one right there. All right, guys, let's go count some money. Hey guys, what is up? So we're about to count this money up, see what we got, and then we'll go make a deposit afterwards. Let's get right into it.
All right, guys, so we got 39, 30, 10, 80, 400. Gives us a whopping 509 or 529.30. Pumped about it. 